and a welcome back to How Not to Souls. Today we're looking at a skill build from Bloodborne, which I'm calling Slayer of the Church. And if you don't know what skill is, because you never play Bloodborne, skill is the equivalent of dex. Um, and she looks like she's ready to do some work for the church. Ready to uh, go after heretics, kill some beasts. But anyway, let's look at her stats. Uh, we're rocking a 145 right now. Helga's got a 50 vitality for a nice meaty health pool. 40 endurance because we need to attack a lot because we're skill build. We don't do crazy amounts of damage, but we can do a lot of attacks. Uh, a 30 strength that originally was meant for weapon requirements, and then it kind of ended up being a, a pseudo dump stat in uh, New Game. I mean, it adds a little bit of damage to your skill-based weapons, but nothing really significant. Uh, 50 skill, that's like the bread and butter of this. I mean, you, you should have 50 skill if you're going to do something like this at the end of New Game. And it, uh, it's like the skill weapons obviously will skill, scale really well with that. And our viscerals will, are nice and juicy. They hit hard, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god. If you don't visceral in Bloodborne, you're not Bloodborne. And then Blood Tinge and Arcane. I had a vision, I have a new vision for New Game Plus. But not quite there yet, so that's still a work in progress. But for New Game, I'd just leave them base. Um, and then for a 120, I'd say 50 Vitality, 30 Endurance, 30 or below in Strength, and a 50 Skill. And yeah, your Blood Tinge and Arcane are the same. And if you look at our damage output on our weapons, it's not crazy because skill weapons don't give out crazy damage. They just do a lot of damage because they can hit a lot. And it's awesome. It feels really good. It's fast. It's visceral. As you can see, our first weapon was the church pick. Our second weapon is Rakuyo. Then left handed weapon is a pistol and then a uh, torch. Um, but we'll take a look at those right now. Yeah, church pick plus 10. Quality. Quality weapon. I love it. That's what made me think of the name, actually. Uh, Rakuyo plus 10. Also, very quality skill weapon. I, I would say, if you focus your build around it, it's probably one of the better skill weapons in the game, if not the best skill weapon in the game. Um, Hunter's Pistol. I'm a simple man. I have simple needs. And a torch to light up things. And then our... Oh, sorry. That. Ah, in our uh, ensemble we're wearing, white church hat, black church garb, Long surgical gloves and a white church dress slash trouser. She kind of looks like a reverse Oreo cookie. I don't know. I'm digging the style of it. Yeah. And now we're going to take a look at our runes and blood gems. First, we're going to be going with the anti clockwise metamorphosis rune. It boosts our max damage by 15%. Great Lake rune, all damage reduction plus 4%. Uh, the Blood Rapture rune. Visceral Tax Restore hit points 300. And the Hunter rune. And this is Stamina Recovery Speed Up, which is huge for this build because we are essentially all stamina and we need as much as we can get. Um, our Blood Gems. And remember with Blood Gems, go with what you feel is right and what you think would benefit your build. But what I picked here is what I thought benefited my build for the best. There are kind of other ways I could have gone, but this is what I chose for my church pick. Um, for our first, the curse tempering, the physical attack up 20% with increased 3% stamina cost. The tempering damp blood gem with 18% attack up. And the same thing with the tempering damp blood gem as well with another 18% attack up. And then our Kuyo has a Tempering Damp Blood Gem with an 18, another Tempering with a 13.1, plus a 7.5. And then we have a Cursed at the end with 15%, 15 15.8% uh, attack of Rapid Poison effect on them. And our weapon durability is down minus 45. So keep in mind, the blood gems 
should reflect what you think is the best output for your weapon. Damage wise, the cursed ones have a really positive side, but obviously do something else to take away, so you have to find a good balance between a negative positive and a negative effect. But that's about that for Helga, our Slayer of the Church. Um, I hope you enjoy the PvE and PvV footage, and I'll see you later. Peace out.